Okay, let's get started. So the first topic we're going to cover today is fonts. So font issues are some of the most common problems we face here at our Bitly support group when we're working with our users in MicroStation. These issues can arise if font files are missing from assigned directories, if the, the user's custom configurations are not set up properly in MicroStation, there can be corrupted font files that cause issues, and there could be duplicated font definitions. So there's a few things to keep in mind when you're working with these fonts. So to gain a better understanding of troubleshooting these issues, I think we, we've got to first cover the basics. So uh, there are three main types of font files. Uh, first, as you see here, the RSC file, it is a, a resource file and it's native to MicroStation. Some people don't know this, but a single RSC file can contain multiple fonts. So just because the name of the RSC file is something, it will not equal the font name when you're working in MicroStation. Uh, each font in these RSC files has a number and name, and they're read by the configuration variables MS font path and MS underscore SYMB RSRC. And if they are in the same pathway as the design file, they're not going to be read. So keep that in mind when you're working with these font types. Next, we have the SHX font file format. It's uh, native to AutoCAD for those AutoCAD users here today with us. You should use SHX fonts only when you must ensure AutoCAD compatibility and tree type fonts are not a viable option. Keep in mind that if AutoCAD is installed on the same machine as MicroStation, MicroStation will search for the SHX fonts in AutoCAD's fonts directory. So it's, it's going to be automatic if AutoCAD is installed on the same machine. And keep in mind that the SHX font is also picked up by the MS font path and MS DWG font path config variables. And lastly, the best and recommended choice for font types when working in MicroStation is the TTF, also known as the true type font. Like I said, it's the recommended font when working in MicroStation, and it's a universal choice because it's used with many common applications like Microsoft Word, AutoCAD, uh, Excel, and MicroStation. So use true type fonts when you can, and you can avoid some common issues for sure. MicroStation will automatically look in your Windows system directory for the fonts that are preloaded with your operating system, and it's read by the MS font path config variable. And if they are in the same pathway as the design file, they will be read. So just a few things to keep in mind when you're working with these. We've worked with some users where they just slap RSC, SHX, and TTF into the same directory. They point their MS font path there, and it causes issues because you know they don't know what's being read in the order. So try to be as organized as you can. And some other things to keep in mind when you're working with fonts are the associated configuration variables. So here, like we talked about before, the MS font path is the quote unquote catch-all config variable for MicroStation fonts. It's gonna read all three font types. The MS underscore SYMB RSRC is your Symbology Resources config variable. It's only gonna read RSC fonts. It's not going to pick up true type fonts or SHX. And lastly, the MSDWG font path is going to read SHX fonts only. You want to set this config variable to where your AutoCAD fonts are if you're going back and forth. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.